Wow, I'm just speechless. That trailer was absolutely fantastic. It was everything I wanted as an Avatar fan, and I'm sure many of you can agree. This trailer showed us major storyline changes, the bending in all its glory, and the most important thing that we've been asking for for months, character dialogue. So this video is going to go over every major event, starting off with the Southern Air Temple attack. Now, in the beginning, we had a voiceover from Gyatso, and he was actually talking to Aang about how the world needs him, similar to the Storm episode, obviously. We can assume that this is the opening minutes of episode 1 and during this attack we actually are going to be getting a one-on-one -on -one fight which isn't too surprising but it's the characters that shock me. As you can see right here we have Sozin emanating with fire and it looks so epic. I know some people said this is a fire sage, some even said that it's Roku but I'm like 95% sure that this is Sozin and he's firebending at Gyatso. Now we can also see there's other soldiers on the ground, they've already been defeated and it would be absolutely insane if Gyatso was killed by Sozin directly. Now I know some of you may think that this is Roku that Sozin's shooting a fire blast at, but I doubt it since they'll probably want to save these scenes for book 3. Now we're going to go from Sozin to Ozai as we actually get another close look into Zuko being burned. As you can see we've got the Fire Lord again and he's walking towards Zuko as he begs his father not to fight. And of course we follow this up with the same shot that we saw in the previous teaser. But that's not the only Ozai scene we have as there's a second one in this trailer and we see him in the throne room and there's a bunch of generals with him. Now, it's possible that this is during the war meeting that Zuko attends, or this is later, and maybe Zhao is not on the camera right now, but he's on the other side and he's talking with Ozai. But since he's not on camera, it could be someone else, it could just be a general scene. Where he is guaranteed is on Kiyoshi Island, as we can see Suki right here behind her mother, the mayor, and they try to talk to Zhao and the rest of the Fire Nation soldiers. But as you can see, Zhao is not in the mood for talking, and I do find it kind of strange that in all these action shots on Kiyoshi, we don't see Zuko. We see everybody but him. It's possible that he's still part of the attack and that Zhao third parties the fight, but it's also possible Zuko isn't here at all. We do know in the original episode that word got around pretty easily that Aang was on Kiyoshi Island, so I can't see why Zhao wouldn't get the memo either. We do also know from previous reports that Aang does talk to Kiyoshi during this episode, and there's also a brief clip in the teaser that shows Avatar Kiyoshi going all in against these soldiers. Lastly, we see Sokka fighting alongside Suki, and she's wearing her usual uniform, but without the face makeup. So I can assume that this is due to extra scenes we'll be getting between the two. Oh, and I also can't forget about this. We've also got this great shot of Aang on Kiyoshi Island. He's on an air scooter, and he bumps into a giant statue, just like he did in the iconic intro. There's Katara and Sokka watching this, and Sokka has a funny comment while eating. This scene and Sokka telling Aang that they've got his back, it really shows that this show can be so wholesome and it shows it has a balance between the lighthearted and emotional scenes as right around this moment we also see an emotional scene with Aang doubting himself thinking it's impossible to stop the Fire Nation you really feel like it's a kid that has to take on the world and I believe that this scene is during the Northern Water Tribe episodes when he realizes there's too many ships that's actually the first shot in this trailer when Gyatso's talking you can actually see all these different ships now since we're talking about Gyatso again I actually want to transition to right here where we see Team Avatar walking through the remains of this Southern Air Temple, which I think looks great, but it doesn't look nearly as good as Omashu, where we see Aang gliding with Teo, the Mechanist's son. Then we see Aang fight Boomy in this trailer briefly, so it seems they're merging stories together. Obviously, we only have eight episodes, so some stuff is either skipped or remixed, as the showrunner said. So we're skipping the Northern Air Temple, the location itself, and some of the events, but those characters are being added to Omashu, and I think it's quite interesting because this is exactly what they're doing with the Kyoshi Island episode. King Bumi is going to have a major presence. There's a brief moment of Aang fighting Bumi and some people had issues with him here. I think he looks good. I think he's at least decent enough. He may not be the best looking character, but he's not the worst. So let's just be content with it and see what happens in the final episodes. Speaking of green in the Earth Kingdom, there's a green explosion. And this is while Team Avatar talks to Teo. And this is likely the mechanist in the background and not just another attack. But the trailer edits it to make it look that way. Now let's move on. We've got to discuss Azula. Obviously she's in this season. And instead of seeing her normal blue flames, we actually see her with a bow and arrow, which is quite strange. We can assume that she's working with the Yuyan archers. It's possible she's hunting down the Avatar or hunting down Zuko, but since this is book one and we want to keep the book two and three events intact, we probably don't mess with too much. We give her just an extended story, maybe some stuff from that Zuko prequel novel we had back in the day, show some scenes with her and Zuko before he got banished, 
Ghost. We also know Mei and Ty Lee's in this season, so maybe they all work together. The Yuyan archers come along with them. Obviously, they're in the Blue Spirit episode, and Aang and Zuko team up, and the Blue Spirit mask looks fantastic. Honestly, it exceeded my expectations. We have a ship right here, not around other ships, so this is not the Northern Water Tribe scene. This is the Southern Water Tribe scene at the beginning, and shortly after, we have Zuko firebending at Aang, where he deflects, and then obviously, Aang will give himself up to protect everyone else. We then get a voiceover of him talking about how it's his destiny to capture the Avatar, and we see some Fire Nation soldiers, we see Iroh and Zuko's room having a discussion, and then there's this scene, where Iroh is firebending for the first time. This is against the Earth Kingdom soldiers, it's that same scene in the last teaser where, where Zuko and Iroh stand there menacingly, and it's nice to see that I predicted that scene correctly, and seeing as that scene was in a forest, I think we should focus on part one of the Winter Solstice, as we get to see our first official look at Heibai right here. Looks great, and we also see Team Avatar on Appa flying over the burnt forest. Later on, it's Katara and Sokka looking very tired with Aang hugging them, and I can assume that this is after Aang escaped the spirit world, but it could be from something else. Now, let's quickly focus on the animals. We get another look at June's sheer shoe, and the CGI looks solid here. Momo is basically perfect here, and lastly, we have Appa, which I'm a little unsure about again. He looks good in certain angles, and then other angles not so much, but I'm not really going to judge. I'm just going to wait for the show to come out before I have a thorough opinion on that. And I obviously had to save the best for last. We have another look at Aang going into the Avatar state. This shot looks so hype and I'm very happy as it's more of a white blue glow like it was in the original series. The previous trailer, it was just like a straight blue glow, which I didn't have an issue with, but I was hoping it would be more of a white blue and that's what we're getting. Overall, I love the trailer. It was absolutely perfect. I don't think we have anything to worry about. It's going to be as big, if not bigger than the successful One Piece live action series. So I want to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on this trailer? Did I miss anything? Let's discuss this below and I'll be sure to make another video as soon as new information drops.